These financial stressors can hit families grocery budgets as well. In fact, as we continue our food drive today, we wanted to give you just a little bit more context into just how big of a problem this is all across the country, a state and of course there in our counties in North Carolina. Our state's food insecurity rate is 11.8% or one out of every nine North Carolinians on average. That food insecurity rate is worse than all of our border states. When we're taking a look at the rate there in Wilkes County, it's 14.9%. This is an average of one in seven across that same county. This is why we are now working so hard to make a difference in our communities today, specifically there in Wilkes County. This is where we find our Kenny Beck. He's been out there at the food drive for a while now. Need to check in and see how he's doing. Good, good afternoon, Kenny. I know it's pretty hot out there as well. It is, and it's only going to get hotter, but we are happy to be out here for a wonderful cause and an important thing, and particularly in a part of the Piedmont Triad where there is so much hunger rampant. I mean, you think about that, the numbers you just said, one out of every seven people in Wilkes County on average, that means out of every seven people who walk into this Lowe's Foods, one on average has had difficulty finding appropriate nutritious food to eat within the last year. Now, the good news is we are off to a terrific start. Brian Slocum did a wonderful job here this morning. We've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, uh, about eight boxes if you were to consolidate here, and we've still got all afternoon. We're going to be here uh, through our six o'clock newscast tonight, so that is a really good thing, and we're getting good stuff too. We've got some cereal. We've got some vegetables. We've got some rice. We've got, I showed you the ramen earlier, and this is the kind of stuff that we need non-perishable, delicious, nutritious food. Joe Kalar with Second Harvest. Always nice to see you, sir. Uh, how are we doing here so far? Can you put this into perspective? Because, you know, Wilkesboro, obviously not as big of a town as some of the other places we go to, but we're, we're doing pretty well here, all things considered, aren't we? Oh, yes. We've had a great outpouring from folks in Wilkesboro and all across Wilkes County. We're on a pretty major thoroughfare, so a lot of folks have been passing through, or at least it just makes it very easy for them to come and find us here. So a lot of folks have been coming out bringing us food, bringing us monetary donations, but just as well as a lot of folks at home making donations online. And it's important to remind people that if you don't live here, hey, perfect timing, we've got somebody pulling up right now. If you make a donation online, if you're not anywhere near Wilkes County, that donation that you make won't specifically go only to Wilkes County. That'll be part of the equation, but we've got a hunger issue here in the Piedmont Triad from Boone to Burlington, and that'll support the great work that the folks at Second Harvest do. Joe, what, as far as trends are concerned, what have you guys seen so far? We're a little more than halfway through 2023. Uh, we've, we've seen an increase month after month. Comparing last June to this June is almost double. Wow. So, but then each month, like I said, has continued to increase over and over itself since January up through the start this far into July. We'll have those statistics figured out towards the end of the month, but still we're seeing a good size increase each month. And of course, we've talked about this many, many times too. It's the summertime where kids are still out of school for about another month or so, and they can't always necessarily rely on getting the meals that they would normally get through school. And we've got big, big goals today. If we can raise 12,000 Dollars, and that will be from donations made here in person and also donations made online. We will hit the one million meal mark, which is hard to say five times fast, for all of our food drives here with Second Harvest Food Bank. How cool would that be to get to the magic one mil mark before the day is over? Again, we're just off Highway 421 here, the Lowe's Foods in Wilkesboro. Come on by, say hello, drop off whatever you can, and make a dent in this massive hunger problem that we still have here in the Piedmont Triad. Christina, we'll send things back to you. All right, thank you, Kenny, for that update. And of course, we want to give you a number of where we're sitting out. And just as he said, we're so close to hitting 1 million meals. And get this, the number on your screen there, nearly at $12,000, which is the magic number. So we appreciate all of those donations so far. But I think we can surpass 1 million meals today if you guys are continuing to donate. You can do so by using the camera in your, on your smartphone. Just scan that QR code that's on your screen now. Of course, you can always find us also on our website or drive there to the Lowe's Food in Wilkesboro to meet Kenny Beck himself and talk about raising more money and meals for those areas in our community.